Hello, and welcome to another episode of Killjoy Storytime. Today I have an episode about the famous cryptid that we all know and love, Mr. Sasquatch. Fuck yourself, I'm gonna green text my Bigfoot story now because urban scum like you never saw jack shit. Be me, 20. Friend, 21. Brother, 18. Summer of 2021. Homemade crayfish trap to set at the Snohomish River as we've seen them. Invasive species to not our native signal crayfish. I love our nature, so if we eat them, who cares, right? Brother and I went to scope out the best spot and check for crayfish tracks in the shallow part of the river. It's called Bob Hearman Wildlife Park, Google Maps it. Been swimming there since we were kids in the summers. Dick around, smoke a dart, walking back just at dusk, eating blackberries, and talking up Sasquatch and saber-toothed tigers because we're nerds and the place has big swampy fields. The kind you'd imagine to be full of dinosaurs, I'll add a pic for reference. Coming back along the river path and get spooked by a cough. Some skinny white little fascia, cradling a shotgun case covered in dirt, is crouched in a blackberry bush. Crack a joke and say, oh, thought you were Sasquatch, you spooked this man. Thousand Yards stares at us and says, worse things than Bigfoot out here, and cradles his shotgun. Speed walk remaining half a mile back to the parking lot and looking over our shoulders. Tell a friend that night and he goes, okay, let's bring knives when we drop the tarp then. We laugh. Now for the Bigfoot part. Beat us retards one week later. Chicken wire funnel trap, two foot by two foot by one foot because we're extra as fuck. Illegal to do this without a license, so we go at 1 a.m. with two headlamps and one big flashlight. Walk down through the field and catch some tadpoles and a puddle because ADHD. Walk 1.2-ish miles to the crayfish spot. Big rocky area at summer, so dry, about 150 to 200 feet of river rocks exposed before water. I keep hearing something moving and stepping at the tree line, but we go, oh, coyotes, whatever, right? Brother takes trap into the river and wades to his waist. Plunk, huge rock lands around one and a half to two feet from him. Shout, what the fuck? Friend points flashlight to opposite bank, can't see anything, even I shine. I say, like a tard. It's just a trout jumping, he spooked it. Brother chuckles, he's a stoic six foot plus guy in built. I'm a larper, so I shine my flashlight scanning the tree line on the other side. Plunk, a big ass rock goes through the edge of the beam. Brother swears and stuffs the trap under a log and runs out. Plunk again, more scrambling and rocks behind some bushes on our bank. Shining our light, scanning, we of course all light in American Eagle to calm down and start wading north to the shore. Plunk, plunk. Rocks landing closer and tracking our movement. Light's not shining in the water and we know it isn't trout. Suddenly, crash, crunch, snort, crunch, crash. We see the bushes and saplings shake in the other side and vague movement, fast movement. Something big is running. We sprint to a small fork in the river, which runs north to south, so this fork slash creek on the east side is rejoining the main river. Can't see around in time, redneck music stops and hears shouting. ATV starts and rolls up right as we hear distinct bipedal swoosh 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 through the fork slash stream going east. No footprints, right? Clever girl. Redneck shouting, what the fuck was that? Big motherfucker, eh? Y'all good? We were like, yeah. You boys see where it was? It chucked rocks at us. No, we didn't, he shouts. Then they say take it easy and go back to their fire. No music, though. Footsteps on our side still. We start laughing about and have an autistic name for the small, nameless woods bordering the river. The woods of Trank and the fields of Torg. Look, we used to get high and fish there a lot, so it's an inside joke. In the woods, it's silent. We all realize and comment on how fast we are walking. Friend pulls out his knife and I follow suit. Path winds back along the river. Plunk. 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 It's still tracking. We are even behind the fucking trees and can barely see the river. Make it to the field area. Wait another batch of six. Really quiet. We walk up the hill to the car. Get Taco Bell and begin laughing about the Sasquatch. We name them Beasts of Tor. Don't mention all the snapping twigs and the fucking rock tracking, nor the fact that the coyotes we heard when we entered had been moving south and the coyotes, nor the bears, nor the mountain lions throw stones. 
come back in the afternoon. Some faggot stole our crayfish trap, probably because my bait was perfectly formulated and caught a lot of them. Hot dog, fish meat, and some rotting salad from the refrigerator. Nobody fucking believes us. Stop going there at night. Also, one time we had a call on a dead body at this location that same summer, which was fun. It was under a tarp. Story 3 out of 3. Sorry the other pictures and fits have face and voice and I'm not posting anything that can ID me. We did find upside down saplings and TP structures there, which is apparently a Bigfoot indicator, but it's a pretty popular area as a swimming spot, so it could just be kids building them. I don't know, kids can uproot 12 foot saplings and jam them upside down into the ground though.